Welcome to Tilly Scientific's tutorial video series for Anabat Insight. In this video you'll learn how to set your triggers and how to use smoothness filters. A trigger is used to define when a back call occurs. Your trigger settings are really important for viewing in compressed mode, rendering a zero crossing image of a full spectrum file and for calculating metrics. Firstly we will select our trigger mode. Go to settings then trigger. Choose between zero crossing and crest factor. For more on how these triggers are calculated, see the user manual. For now, we will select zero crossing. Then you can set your minimum and maximum trigger frequencies that a trigger event can occur. Set your minimum trigger at the frequency of the lowest back call. This will help prevent false triggering on low frequency noise like insects. We will set this on 12 kHz. The maximum frequency can be the highest frequency bats in your region. For now we will set this at 200, then click save. If you selected zero crossing trigger mode, then this is the slider bar you will use to control the trigger sensitivity. This is the slider bar for setting the crest factor threshold, if you selected the crest factor trigger mode. When you move the slider bar, it will show the sensitivity level changing in the bottom left of the screen. If you hover over the slider bar, it will display the setting level. To demonstrate how trigger settings work, we will open a full spectrum file. We will view both full spectrum and zero crossing. We will drag across the file to find where the back call is. You can see that at a sensitivity of 20, there is a lot of noise being rendered in the zero crossings view. If you put compressed mode on, it is designed to take out the gaps between back calls, but because there is so much noise from a sensitive trigger, it isn't working properly. If we change the zero crossing sensitivity, you will see the number of ZC dots rendered changes. Now if I change back to compress mode, it will work a lot better as the ZC trigger is only triggering on back calls. You can see how the compress mode changes as I slide the sensitivity bar. At the lowest sensitivity levels, only the strongest pulses show. At the higher sensitivity levels, more pulses are displayed you may choose a trigger level that best suits your data. Next, I will demonstrate how the sensitivity changes the metrics calculations. We will view in true time mode with a maximum sensitivity to begin. You can see that with all of the noise, the characteristic frequency is not very accurate. Now, as we reduce the sensitivity down to a level where only the back calls are being rendered, you can see that the average characteristic frequency is changing to become more accurate. If you are using zero crossing trigger mode, you can choose to use Auto ZC by clicking this button. This mode will attempt to calculate the optimal sensitivity for each individual file. For those of you who have Anabat walkabouts, it is probably worth noting that this is exactly how your walkabout triggers and sensitivity works as well. Now we will look at the built-in smoothness filters. Smoothness filters are calculated by looking at the adjacent dots and seeing how smoothly connected they are. To start, we will take the sensitivity back up to 20. Then we'll click on settings, then smoothness. And select level five. You can see that many of the noise dots have been filtered out. The smoothness level is shown below the spectrogram. A higher built-in smoothness filter will remove more dots. Here you can see a smoothness level of 9. And then a smoothness level of 1. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts Alt 0 to 9. For these files I'll choose a smoothness level of 7. You can still change the sensitivity level with the smoothness filter on. 
This will help further improve the effects of compress mode and calculating metrics. The smoothness filter and sensitivity will stay on when you scroll through files. If you have any questions, check out the user manual on our website or send me an email at julie.bb at titly-scientific.com. Thanks.